بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم لا حول ولا قوت الا بالله العلی العظیم الحمد لله رب العالمین و صلی الله علی سیدنا و نبینا ابی القاسم المصطفى محمد و آله الطیبین الطاهرین لا سیما بقیت الله فی الارضین جل الله تعالی فرجه الشریف اللهم اخرجنی من ظلمات الوهم و اکرمنی به نور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا ابواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين الحمد لله و هفت توفيق تو كانتين و استدي اف الفقه الاستدلالي كتاب الصوم the section on اعتكاف we are on the page 526 we studied the fourth argument for prohibition of Uh, intercourse for or marital relation for the wife we talked about the husband and now we are talking about the wife we are studying the fourth hujja argument sahih to abi walad al hanaq hanaq is the one whose job is to sell hunut for you know takfin sa'altu aba abdullah alayhi salam an imra'atin kana zawjuha ghaiban abi walad says i ask imam sadiq alayhi salam about a lady whose husband was absent faqadma wa hiya mu'takifatun bi idn zawjaha he was in a journey he was traveling came back while she was mu'takif and she had the permission or consent of her husband فَخَرَجَتْ هِنَ بَلَغَهَا قُدُومُهُ مِنَ الْمَسْجِدِ إِلَى بَيْتَهَا when she received the news of arrival قدوم of her husband خَرَجَتْ مِنَ الْمَسْجِدِ She left Masjid to her house. فَتَحَيَّعَتْ لِزَوْجِهَا حَتَّى وَاقَعَهَا Then she prepared herself and uh, they had relation. فَقَال Now the question is obvious that the question is because she was مُعْتَكِفْ She left Masjid to see her husband and then they had this. What's the ruling? فقال إن كانت خرجت من المسجد قبل أن تنقضي الثلاثة أيام ولم يكن اشترطت في اعتكافها فإن عليها ولم يكن اشترطت اشترطت إزبت في اعتكافها فإن عليها ما على المظاهر If she left masjid before completing three days, so she was in uh, take off, didn't complete three days, or even if a take off was for more than three days, she didn't finish the first three days. And from the beginning, this was not a condition that she made that I do a takeoff, what with the condition that if my husband returns, I go home and I can be with my husband. Without such a condition, she started a takeoff, she didn't complete her three days of a takeoff. Then the same thing is on her, that is for someone who is doing mudahara. Mudahara, you know, it's uh, one of the prohibited acts uh, that has kafara compensation. So she's doing something wrong. The argument is this. Imam didn't say it's haram, but said the same thing that mudahir has to give as kafara is upon her. If something has kafara, doesn't it mean or imply that it was not permissible? The da'wah. 
ان ثبوت الكفاره يدل على الحرب this end of the argument وقد اشكل but there has been objection to this argument they say two things have happened here one is خروجها من المسجد قبل ثلاثة أيام the second is relation with her husband maybe this kafara is for خروج not for relation not for what قد أشكل بأن الظاهر كون الكفارة للخروج السابق على الوقت كفارة compensation or penalty this penalty is for خروج because what was the sentence of امام إن كانت خرجت ولم يكون اشترطت everything is based on خروج so this كفارة can be for خروج which preceded سابق على الوقت which happened and preceded what و اجيب but on behalf of the people who use this argument there is an attempt to reply to the objection بأن الخروج المذكور it shouldn't be مذكور خروج المذكور كان لحاجة عرفية فلا معنى لثبوت الكفارة الأجلية We said if there is a ضرورة emergency or something that عرف accepts as a حاجة as a need متكفت may go out خب this lady's husband was the, uh, in a journey has come back so maybe we can say orphan she needs to go and welcome her husband you know be there uh, make sure everything went well etc so maybe there is a hajat orfi if there is hajat orfi for khuruj min al masjid then why it should be haram ujib bi an al khuruj al madhkur kana li hajat orfiya Kana is muzakkar, khuruj is also muzakkar, so mazkur, not mazkura. Fala ma'na li thubut al kafara li ajlihi. So there is no meaning, it's uh, absurd to say that kafara is for something which is hajat orfi. Li ajlihi, yani li ajl al khuruj. Vayal zam an takuna lil jama'a. یعنی یلزم ان تکون هیه which refers to کفاره لیل جماع so کفاره must be for what for جماع for intercourse باز again there is an attempt to answer to object و یردهو انهو لو سلم دلالت الكفاره على الحرمه okay if we say کفاره we accept کفاره indicates prohibition خب maybe it's for both things together فلعلها للمجموع المركب من الخروج والوتي maybe it is for combination of leaving masjid and having relation بل يحتمل كونها للخروج فقط so maybe also it's only for خروج there's احتمال is a jaal ihtimal batal al istidlal how can then you be sure that this hadith means uh, relation is haram maybe it's khuruj or maybe combination of khuruj and relation not just relation khob then you may say but khuruj maybe is not haram we say aha then it will be تخصیص for those adilla which say خروج for حاجه is okay this shows that this is not included in permission for خروج و یکون و ذالکه تخصیصا للحکم به جواز الخروج 
it will make taxis. It will narrow it down, restrict it to what? To hajatin la buddha minha. Something that is necessary, not hajat orfi, like your husband comes back and, okay, go back and see him after your take-off is finished. It's not someone is dying, someone is, you know, starving, there's fire, or, I don't know, someone is ill, you have to take care of someone who is ill. No. So, we restrict it to khuruj for something that la buddha minha. There is no other choice. It's inevitable. Maybe you say, but it's better not to do taxis as much as possible. Asala to adam taxis. He says we don't have such asala when either we have to say something is taxisan kharaj or taxisan. Taxisan means it's by itself out, falling outside. For example, if I say akram al ulama. And someone is a jahil or is a just a student. Takhassusan falls outside because I said ulama and a student or someone who is ignorant, is not educated, is not included. Sometimes I say akram al ulama wa la tukram al fussaqa min al ulama. This is takhsis because fussaq are also alim, but I say ulama who are fasiq don't honor them. So, Taxis and takhassus that we study in Usul al fiqh are both when something is not included, but the difference is that in takhassus is by itself not included. In takhsis, it was included if we didn't have this second reason which says leave it out. La tukram al fussaqa min al ulama. Khub, asala tu adam takhsis. If there is a case that you don't have any evidence, Mola has said, Akram al ulama, and you don't have any evidence that it's restricted or not, we say, okay, ask is Adam al Taxis. But if you know something is not included, and then whether it is Taxis or Taxis, then we don't have Asala to Adam al Taxis here, because anyway, it's uh, restricted. Vanna teacher. Okay, after mentioning these four arguments, what is the conclusion of Sheikh Irwani? Anna al hukma ta'mim mushkilun. To issue the verdict, verdict that Hormatul Jema includes the wife also is difficult. Wa'in kan al ihtiyatu. تحفظاً من مخالفة دعوة عدم الخلاف وجهاً Although it's plausible to do احتياط because you don't want to disregard the claim that there is no خلاف here. You remember at the beginning when we started We said, ثم إن حرمة الجماع هل تأم المرأة إيزان قيل نعم بلا وجدان خلاف ظاهر فيه. It has been said that we have not found anyone obviously or you know apparently disagreeing. This was in Mustamsak by Sayyid Al Hakim. So here it says. Because we don't want to do mukhalafa with the claim of Adam al Khilaf, so it's better to do ihtiyat. Ihtiyat is vajih, means it's plausible. The next thing after Jema, and also we talked about taqbil and uh, mula'ab, etc., then we talked about Jema for women. The next thing is istimna. But here, istimna is not only masturbating. It's anything that uh, leads to imna, to khuruj al-mani, even if it is through halal methods. وَالْمَقْسُودُ مَا يَعُمُّ الْحَلَالَ مِنْهُ What is halal, istimna of halal? 
is that someone maybe looking at his wife leads to خروج uh, المني. We don't say uh, kissing or uh, you know etc. because that is already discussed. Okay, you remember we talked about hormat taqbil here. Hal yahrumu lamsu wa taqbil touching and kissing. We talked about it before. Okay, so therefore here he says nazar ila zawja. Even if by looking, without touching, mani comes out. So this is more general than haram masturbating, that someone uh, does something that he himself, uh, you know, uh, do emna. وَقَدْ يُسْتَدَلُّ لَهُ Sometimes it is argued for this Avalan Bema Fil Khilaf one of the very good books on Fiqh Muqarin Sunni Shia Fiqh is Al Khilaf by the late Shaykh Tusi Rizwanullah Ta'ala Alayhi what a great man and scholar he has Tafsir at Tebyan he has book on Usul al Fiqh al Udda. He has a book on Fiqh Istidlali al Mabsud. He has book on Fiqh Muqarin al Khilaf and other books, mashallah. Jazahullah al Nakhir al Jaza. Shaykh Tusi Rizwanullah alayhi in Khilaf has claimed that there is ejma that Mu'takif is haram to do istimna. دعوال اجماع على حرمته يعني حرمة الاستمناء of course we are talking about مؤتكف because we are talking about even حلال one حرام one is حرام anyway شيخ ارواني says انه لو سلمه even if we accept that there is اجماع فَهُوَ مُحْتَمَلُ الْمَدْرَكِ You know, اجماعِ مَدْرَكِ الاجماعُ المَدْرَكِ is not حجة means when there is a hadith, for example, there is an ayah and at the same time there is اجماع and there is chance that this اجماع is based on that ayah or hadith ulama say this اجماع is not حجة Why? Because we have to look at the basis of their opinions if there is hadith or ayah that we have also access to, okay, so then you have to do your own ijtihad. If everyone else has understood that ayah or hadith in the way that you don't understand, then ijma is not hujja. Al ijma ul madraki is not hujja. Even al ijma muhtamal ul madrakiya is not also hujja. If there is ijma and we say it's possible, maybe. It was so obvious that they didn't need to use this hadith or ayah. But if there is a chance that maybe they use this hadith and ayah, again we have to look into this hadith and ayah by ourselves. Ejma is not hujja. So whether it's ejma madraki or muhtamal al madraki. Here, we don't know that ejma is because of these things that we are going to mention, but there is a chance. So we have to look into these things, these arguments that we are going to mention. Ejma by itself is not hujja. Even if we accept there is ejma. Lo sullama. If we accept that there is ejma, fahuwa muhtamal al madrak. What is madrak? That is possible to be the, the basis of ejma. Ahadul wujuh al atiyah. One of these uh, arguments that we mention. Two. Ma fil madarik. Sahib al Madarik Rizwanullah Ta'ala Alay has argued in this way. He said, Lams wa taqbil bi shahwa for mu'takif is haram. If we accept over there that this is haram. Then, fahwa, mafhum, 
بل اولویه فحوا یعنی مفهوم موافق مفهوم مخالف اوکی مفهوم موافق ایز اولویه فور اگزامپل لا تقل لهما اف بل اولویه امپلایز دت لا تضرب هما if you cannot to your parent you cannot say to your parents often yani i am tired with you na'udzubillah then can you na'udzubillah beat them hit them no obviously no this is mafhumul muwafaqa because both of them are the same ruling hurma for example but sometimes it's mafhumul mukhalafa for example says if this happens do ghusl that means if this doesn't happen ghusl is not necessary so one is ghusl is necessary mafhum al mukhalif is not necessary if shart doesn't uh, materialize mafhum al shart you remember we have we had mafhum al shart mafhum al laqab mafhum al adad mafhum al sifa mafhum al istisna these are all mafhum al mukhalif kho صاحب مدارک رزوان الله تعالی علیه he says if mass و تقبیل به شهوه is حرام what about استمناء which leads to خروج المنی و علق علیه فی الجواهر Sahib Jawahir has made a comment on this. He said, Annahu kama tara. He says, this argument is as you see. Annahu kama tara means it's weak. You see yourself that this is not very complete argument. Why? He doesn't say why. Because he thought it's obvious you see the problem. Sheikh Irwani says, La'allahu... لعدم ثبوت الحرمه في الاصل بشكل واضح ليتمسك بالاولويه because first of all it's not very clear that mas wa taqbil bi shahwa by itself without imna is haram number one so when the asl the basis is not haram is not proved to be haram then how can we say bil awlawiyah then emna is also haram istimna is haram we say in mantiq you know sabbat al arsh thumma nqush first uh, make sure that there is throne then you can paint on the throne There must be something established. Then you can apply a hook on it. You say mafumul olavia for something which is not yet established. Okay. Number two. Who said there is olavia? Ala an al olavia qabilatul le taamul fi had nafsa. Maybe someone says mas wa taqbil be shahwa is haram, but If it is without mass but taqbil, just by looking is not haram. The third argument, the third argument for hurmatul istimna, even halal, is khurujul mu'takif bil janabah an qabiliyat al-lapth fil masjid. If mu'takif becomes junub because when money comes out it's leading to janaba he cannot stay in masjid he has to leave masjid and do ghusl so can you voluntarily do some if you're in the sleeping when you are sleeping it happens it's okay but if you voluntarily do something that you must then leave masjid this is a problem khuruj al mu'takif bil janaba And قابلیت لبس فی المسجد He is no longer able to stay in masjid But the counter argument is this اَنَّهُ لَا يَسْتَلْزِمُ بُطْلَانَ الْاِعْتِقَافِ Even this doesn't imply that اعتقاف has become void 
اذ هو وفعل لما يحتاج معه الى الخروج اور يحتاج معه الى بیکاز هی هاز دان سمتینگ فور بای ویچ اور ویت ویچ هی هاز تو لیو اور وان هاز تو لیو فور اگزامپل اف سم وان ایتس ا لات اند هی هاز تو گو تو تویلت مور دن نورمال اور اف سم وان تیکس ا میدیسن which leads to diarrhea and then has to leave a lot. Is this problematic? Maybe for God say no. Because when you have this issue, you have to go out and there is no need to avoid that. Of course, maybe someone says you shouldn't do something that if you, there is no need, why you do such a things that then you have to keep going out. So there is a chance also to say it's problematic. Nam Robama Yoltazamu Bil Horma Menahiatil Munafatim al Masjidiya. Yes, we are talking about a takeoff. But maybe someone says that I accept that it is haram to do istimna because you are in masjid. Even if you are not mu'takif, in masjid, you shouldn't make yourself junub. Illa anna tilka qadiyyatun ukhra la rabta laha bil munafat al-hithiyyat al-aitikaf. But this is another issue. This has nothing to do with aitikaf being in conflict with istimna. The fourth argument. موثقت السماع سألته عن رجل لزق بأهله فأنزله قال عليه إطعام الستين مسكينا مد لكل مسكين خب سامون ديس Hadith doesn't have that much details. Maybe we will talk about it, that maybe something is missing, something there is, uh, you know, suqut, sakht, and drop. But just for the time being, hadith is that someone has done, has had a relation, for example, with his wife, uh, not um, maybe necessarily intercourse, but led to Enzal. قال عليه اتعام ستين مسكينا مد لكل مسكين. Enzal means Enzal or money. Imam said he must uh, feed 60 needy people. To each needy person has to give a mud. Like, for example, 750 grams, it seems it means this. بتقريب تقريب how it is explained this argument ان مقتضى اطلاقها عدم الاختصاص بشهر رمضان this is mutlaq there is no قيد that says uh, it's about months of ramadan in the months of ramadan when someone is fasting of course shouldn't do this and there is kafwa but here it doesn't say months of ramadan قایته یلزم و تقییدها به حالت حرمت الجماع The maximum is to say this is about a condition any condition in which jama' becomes haram It can be in the months of Ramadan It can be during اعتقاف و به ذالک تکون و دالتن Maybe also even احرام for example به مقتضى اطلاقه اطلاقها الا انه في كل مورد يكون الجماع موجبا للكفاره فالاستمناء مثله فشمل تشمل المقام اوكي وي ذن ا انديرستاند ذا حديث اور انتربريت ذا حديث اكوردنج تو ذا اطلاق ان ذس واي بيكوز اتس نوت اونلي فور شهر رمضان از مطلق we say, whenever jama' leads to kafara, 
mula'aba istimna, something that is not jama' as I said, but has led to inzal. Lazaqaba ahli has a relation, but not necessarily intercourse. But led to inzal al-mani, it's included. It's similar. So, if it is months of Ramadan, if it is etikaf, the same. Kada zakara ba'adhul a'lam. This argument is mentioned, Kazam is in you know, this way. Some of the great ulama, which is Sayyid al Khui, in Mustanad al Urdu al Wusqa, which is Taqrirat of Sayyid al Khui, has mentioned. But Shaykh Irwani says, Wafihi ba'd al ta'amul fil mulazamat bain al kafarat wal hurma, kama ta'amul al wafi mawz in akhir. وبغض النظر يعني بعد غض النظر أن اختصاصه بالإمناء الملاعبة أنه يحتمل قويا وجود سقط في الرباية He says there are two things even if you compromise there is a third problem number one we question ملازمة correlation between كفارة and حرمة Maybe there is kafara, as this hadith said, but not khurma. Even Sayyid al-Khui, Rizwanullah ta'ala ala, in another place, you know, Mustanad al-Urwat al-Wusqa, Kitab al-Sum, page 2, uh, sorry, volume 2, page 301. That one was volume 2, page 459. So he himself, in another place, has ta'ammul. Ta'amul means reservation, hesitation about mulazama bain al kafarate wal khurma. Maybe kafara is there but not haram. Number two, this was not for uh, any kind of relation. This was lazaqa bi ahli, kind of mula'aba. Mula'aba is different from, for example, nazar. So, this is the second thing that if we disregard. So, if we compromise about problem with mulazimah and compromise about this that it's about mula'aba only, there is the third problem. Yuhtamalu qaviyan wujudu saqtin fir rawaya. There is a great chance that maybe something in Rewaya is dropped. Maybe there is a missing word or phrase in the, bar, in the hadith. Wa otherwise, فَهَلْ تُحْتَمَلْ حُرْمَةُ الْإِمْنَا بِسَبَبِ مُلَاعَبَةِ الزَّوْجَةِ حَتَّى يَحْتَاجَ لَسْسُؤَالِ You know, there was nothing about fasting in the hadith. There was nothing about months of Ramadan. There must be something, maybe before, after, Otherwise, if someone just goes to Imam and says, you know, someone had mula'iba with his wife and did enzal afterwards. So what is wrong with that? Why he asks a question, Aslan? There must be something that we have not received. Otherwise, هَلْ تُخْتَمَلُ حُرْمَةُ الْإِمْنَا بِسَبَبِ مُلَاعَبَةِ الزَّوْجَ حَتَّى يَحْتَاجِ السؤال. Is there any even chance that someone says it's probable that if a husband, uh, you know, for example, does something, you know, kissing, etc., with his wife or talks, you know, etc., and then leads to emna, is it problem? Why should he should ask this question? Must be for something that is not mentioned. Maybe it was, you know, rounds of Ramadan, maybe it was etika, whatever, ihram, whatever. Kho. O qul, Sheikh Irwani says, or you can say it in this way. If you want to expand and argue, you can say it this way. In the maqam, احتمالات ثلاثة احتمالات احتمالات is S for in. So it has to be mansub. خبر مقدم جارو مجرور في المقام احتمالات is S for in. And because it is mansub, uh, it has to be with kasra. و ما به تا و الف قد جمعا یکسر في الجر و نسب when something is jam mu'annas salim whether it's mansub or majrur we have to use kasra 
ان في المقام احتمالات ثلاثه there are three possibilities number one ما افيد في تقريب الدلاله من كونها ناظرة إلى خصوص حرمة الجماع The first possibility احتمال is what has been said that this hadith only dal is dal is indicating uh, that جماع is haram maybe it's only about جماع or number two اح, the second احتمال اختصاصها بشهر رمضان أو نحو ذلك Maybe it was for the month of Ramadan or something else. Lakin vaqa fir rivaya saktun. But there is a missing, something is dropped. When they were reporting the hadith, writing down, maybe something dropped. The third ihtimal, inna hukm al-istimna ma'az-zawja lam yakun wadihan lada sama'a wa ujiba bil-luzum al-kafara. Maybe actually the question was about istimna with wife, meaning You do something, not masturbating. You do something with your wife that leads to emna. And Sama'a didn't know, and the answer was there is kafara. Khob. There are three possibilities. Some of them are useful for you. But when there is another possibility, you cannot benefit from this hadith. As long as there is other ihtimal or ihtimalat, even one ihtimal other than what you want is enough to make this hadith not a good argument ma'wurud al-ihtimalayn al-akhirayn tasqut al-riwaya an salahiyat al-istidlal biha so you cannot just assume the first ihtimal there is second ihtimal the third ihtimal even if there is one more ihtimal it was enough in qult If you try to say no, the other two احتمالات are not serious, they are not really uh, you know, strong, they are dismissed automatically. There is only one real احتمال, if you want to say in this way. How? In قلت يندفع الثاني بأصالة عدم السقط العقلائية We have أصالة عقلائية of what? عدم السقط Ogala, when they have doubt whether something which a speaker said or writer wrote, whether it, there was something more which is deleted, which is dropped or not, they assume there was nothing more. Asalat adam sakt, asalat adam hasf, asalat adam taqdir, somehow similar. So this is about the second one, because the second one was lakin raqa fi rivayat sakt. As solace, the third ihtimal also yandafe automatically bi jawab al-imam alayhi salam haythu la yuhtamal thubut al-kafara bil imna in the mula'abat al-zawja Although Samaa maybe didn't know but imam when it says that uh, there is kafara it cannot be for imna with you know playing with his wife so only the first ihtimal is serious So you cannot say ihtimal because when, when there is one ihtimal, then that's the meaning. It's not the ihtimal then. Sheikh Irwani says, "Amma asalat wa adam sakt, fashar to jarayan ha adam al qarina ala wuqoo." Yes, if there is no evidence that there was something which is missed or dropped, we say asal is that there was nothing there, more than what we have. But here we have qarina that this. cannot be by itself correct why you know someone has to give kafara you know alayhi at amu sattina miskina just because lazaqa bi ahlihi he had mula'iba with his wife and, and did enzal why he has to give kafara so we have evidence that something was there more than this و اما جوابه به ثبوت الكفاره فلعله على قرار بعض الروايات التي تشمل على مضامين يرد علمها الى اهله and that maybe also the answer of imam is like some of the hadith that 
even if they are hadith we cannot understand at all we have to leave it to ahl zikr to ahl al-ilm ar-rasiqun fil ilm they know ma ya'lamu ta'wilahu illa allah wa ar-rasiqun fil ilm maybe we should stop if there is something <laughs> we don't know then we have to leave it to them خلاص الكونكلوجن النتيجة أن الحكم بحرمة الإمناء على المعتكف مشكل لايك ذا بريفيس حرمة الجماعة على المرأة مشكل هير سيز اصو مشكل اجين لايك ذا بريفيس وان الاحتياط وجيه از بلازيبل تو دو احتياط تحفظا من مخالفة الإجماع in the previous one was da'wa adam al-khilaf here is ijma which is claimed and is muhtamal we didn't establish it's not ijma muhassal it's ijma manqul but we have to be doing ihtiyat as at least ihtiyat uh, mustahab okay alhamdulillah this also finished the next thing that we have to discuss is al-khuruj إلا لحاجة لا بد منها عرفا whether it is haram to go out of masjid during اتقاف for anything which is not according to orf necessary according to orf is not a حاجة is not a need we will talk about it inshallah next session الحمد لله رب العالمين